Well, guess what time of the year it is? Well, it's pretty obvious. Bam! It is the holiday season 2013. So here's a list of pretty inexpensive, affordable things that you can get for anybody that any photographer, videographer, or anyone in this genre will be very, very interested in. So put these on your list and who knows, you can make someone's day. Here's your 2013 holiday buying guide list thing. Probably one of the most important uh, gifts you can give this to someone in our field is hard drives. External hard drives are very, very affordable now. I can't say they're cheap, but compared to what they used to be, they're very, very um, inexpensive. You can give 500 gigabyte external hard drive for like $40 now, especially over the holidays, you're saving a lot of money. So that's really, really one great gift to uh, give someone, especially so they can save their photos, archive everything, so that way they're safe and for, uh, protected. So pretty much that really tops out my list at number one. Another huge gift idea is camera bags. Now you may know someone who's just getting their first camera for the holidays for Christmas, but they don't have a bag. Well, get them a nice little backpack, get them a nice little shoulder, uh, shoulder messenger bag type of thing. That was something that could be great. One of my advice is to get something that they'll grow into so don't buy this little entry level bag to where you it's just like it can hold the the one lens in the body they don't really work out so well and you'll outgrow those and it's just a waste of like 40 50 60 dollars so get it get a nice little backpack get something spend a little bit of money make let's make someone's uh holidays pretty special look at a different camera bag another small and inexpensive gifts around the holidays because they're on sale for so cheap are sd cards you can get eight gigabyte 16 gigabyte cards for under twenty dollars at class 10 speed basically that just means they're fast cards and i'll handle video high definition video well so it's really something you can uh, think about and it's something that you can include into someone's new camera purchase or a little stocking stuffer it's great easy and once again it's very very affordable it's cheap you can even sell them if you want. Camera straps are a very popular item around this time of holiday year because they're awesome. They're something different. They're something that anyone can use instead of using that neck strap that a lot of people are like, oh, I don't wish I had. You know, I use a black wrapper shoulder strap, something that comes around uh, my shoulder and the camera sits down by my side. So it's something great. It's something easy. And you could, and there's just so many different ones out there. There's holsters you can have on your chest or on your side. So look at a different camera strap for someone you're gifting or maybe yourself that you can look for with a little bit of Christmas cash. Do you like lenses? Of course, but do you like mugs? Something that you can drink out of? Well, perfectly enough, you can drink out of these lens mugs and that's what they're called. They're $20, they're thermal, they're great. Some of them even move. Does this one, um, the focusing ring moves on this. They're really cool and this is once again, something you can throw in the stocking, it's something you can open up, they come in a nice box. Great lens mugs, they're pretty awesome. This is for the photographer who has a flash but is looking to control them more or to modify the light. Easy gift, under 50 bucks, you can have the Rogue Flash Bender. Once again, I don't own this, but I've used this a ton on some of my shoots. It's just this simple piece of flexible equipment that you can just uh, go right around your camera flash. Something easy, something simple. And once again, it can really help improve your uh, on location photography, your studio photography, or, or however you use it. Great gift idea. Now this gift I might really want to buy myself, and that's a Fuji Instax camera. It's the 210, it's one of the bigger ones. They do make a mini one, but think of a Polaroid. You take the photo, once again, you, you shake it out, it comes right out, it's an instant photo. It's awesome. One of these are great for any kind of photographer of any level because it's fun. You can bring them anywhere and you could just have a good time with them. You know, they could great to give out at a party, especially if you're at a family event or whatever, or hang them up on your wall. Do something awesome. Bada bing! This is a reflector that I'm blinding the camera lens with. This is great, uh, it's a five in one reflector. So you get silver side, dark side, you open it up, you get a gold, you get a diffuser, you get um, a pure white side. It's something that can easily, you ready, ready? Bam, that must look great on my face even though you probably can't see it that well. It's something that improves photography. It's great for filling in light, if you, especially if you have a main light like this or a uh, speed light, use one of these. And once again, it's a great gift. They're, they come in all different sizes. There's 18 inch, very, very small one. This is a small one. I think this is like a 22 inch or 28 inch, but then you can go 42 inches or life or uh, basically like six foot. So they're really great, versatile, and then once again, affordable. Now these you're spending a little bit of money on. Hope I didn't just break them there. They're flash triggers. You can, there's a ton out there, radio poppers, young, new, uh, pocket wizards. 
look into getting someone help with uh, off-camera flash or something for their uh, studio strobes. It's something, once again, that's something that a ton of people can use to improve their photography. So look into some kind of radio triggers or some way that you can trigger someone's flash. Not with just a little, um, just like little remote thing or anything. Get something that you put on the camera, something that can really improve someone's photography. Look into radio or flash triggers now. Eric Ross is the guy with the eye giving you your, just something to think about. Your 2013 holiday gift photography guide, whatever you want to call it. Something to give you a couple quick ideas. There's awesome little things that you can put on a hot shoe, like a little bubble level. Something that can improve someone's landscape photography. There's so many things out there, but there's some of the hot things this year that I really wanted to bring up. I think the lens mugs are really freaking awesome. And I think they're a, a, fat a fantastic gift or something simple as a lens bracelet, which I've already done a couple giveaways with um, that you just go online, search them, you'll find them. There's an awesome things that you can have. Once again, I like, I like to suggest the affordable things because once again, that's more realistic. What a lot of people, what a lot of my viewers that they'll buy, you know, a lot of people are saying like, oh, buy the Nikon DF or a new Canon. Yeah, that's, that's great. You can, if you want. But, you know, that's not what I'm suggesting. There's some awesome things that you can have stocking stuff or something you can open up and something fun for yourself. So that's all I got. What are some more suggestions that you guys have? List them down below. You know what? There's even these things called a, well, a camera or lens pillow. Yeah, no, I, re I really wouldn't want those either. Happy holidays, everyone. Once again, have some fun.